Hi, you guessed it, it's your buddy Hank. I want you to grab yourself a damn beer. I want you to get yourself some fine sipping whiskey. Mmm. Maybe a nice cigar and sit back and relax and enjoy Johnny on the spot. Thanks for watching. Hi and welcome to a special Monday edition of Johnny on the Spot. I usually don't do a show on Monday, of course, but this is of a special because I have a very heavy heart. No, it's not about the chick that collapsed on the X Factor. Nothing to do with that. It has something to do with something important, and that is football, the National Football League. I live, eat, sleep, and breathe the NFL, and of course, especially the Bears. And I tweeted 24 hours before the Bear Bronco game that if Tim Tebow was trending at 6.15 p.m., that the Bears would have lost. Guess what? I was right. So the Bears lost 13 to 10 in overtime. Tebow and the Broncos, as they usually do. Tebow is now seven and two as a starter, very reminiscent of the John Elway era. Just, get, I'm, I'm happy for this kid. It's an amazing story. It's a great story. The kid just wins football games. It's not about Tebow right now. This is a, for lack of a better word, sports hell. I was basically inconsolable after this game. I, I kind of almost catatonic. I mean, I thank God for Twitter. Thank God for buddies like Kevin Brook, who was tweeting me during this game, and all my Bills fan friends and Bears fan friends, Sox fan friends, commiserating with me on social media. It was a beautiful social media sharing of agony. I'm going to tell you the only reason I'm making this video. It's purely selfish. I mean, I, it, it's catharsis. That's all this is. I wish I was dispassionate. I wish I was an apathetic sports fan, but I just cannot be. Because if I was that guy, then I wouldn't care about sports. It's either a manic high or a very low low, and today's a low low. I felt so bad after this game, I called my buddy Al Pacino, see if he could pick me up. We are in hell right now, Johnny. Believe me. And we can stay here and get the shit kicked out of us, or we can fight our way back into the light. Huh, that sounded like his halftime speech from any given Sunday. Next. I'm going to try to explain how I felt after this game. I felt like I'd been put through a wood chipper, or like somebody just took their hand and shoved it into my guts and pulled out my entrails and showed them to me. It was painful, gut-wrenching, excruciating, use the, any word you want to use, it doesn't matter. Worst Bears loss I've ever seen. Now here's a quick synopsis of how this thing went down. Bears are up 10-7, there's about 7 minutes left in the clock. Bears have the ball after they recover the onside kick. Now they're trying to kill Clark. Marion Barber gets it, doesn't realize that he runs out of bounds, doesn't know what the hell's going on. So, Broncos get the ball back, they tie it, we go into overtime, and Barber fumbles the ball, Broncos get it, and they kick it, and it's field goal, and the Broncos win the game. So as a football fan, a Bears fan specifically, Jay Cutler goes down, just as the Bears are starting to peak with the win versus San Diego, I go out, check Twitter, 10 o'clock, Cutler breaks his thumb. So the Bears had me emotionally. Do you understand? It's like I was all in at that point with Cutler, and now you're letting me down. It's like if you're dating a girl, like let's say for four months, you don't really care one way or the other, and then one day you say, oh, this could be the one, this is great, I love you. Two days later, she breaks up with you. Do you understand the metaphor now? Sports hell, relationship hell, same thing. So this is sports hell and the flames are burning and I can feel the pain and it's horrible and everything. Packers won today like 500 to 16 over the Raiders. They're probably gonna win the Super Bowl, which is gonna be like pouring hot lava on my sack. It's sports, the thrill of victory or the agony of defeat or the ecstasy of defeat if you're Rex Ryan. Hello! You understand. If you're a passionate sports fan, you get where I'm coming from here. I want to know the worst loss you've ever endured as a sports fan. I want you to put it in the comments section below. Write this thing up. Cub fans, you could probably fill this thing by yourself. Boston Red Sox fans. You know, Boston didn't always win a ton of Super Bowls and everything else. I mean, they went through their share of hell there as Boston Red Sox fans with the Buckner thing and the ball going through. So anyway, anything you can think of except NASCAR, but because that's not a sport, we've already gone over that. It's going to be soccer, football, baseball, hockey, whatever it is, the worst, most painful loss you've ever seen. Put it in the comments section below. Thanks for watching this special sports hell edition of Johnny on the Spot. See ya. Oh.